I will explore the paper quality of t uh, testing in TDD in this video. So now uh, nowadays agile development is a widely used and very useful development approach. But when researchers study the approach, they tend to evaluate quality improvements in the resulting code and omit another important metric, quality of test cases. So in this paper, the author pre uh, repre present uh, results from an exper experiment sp specifically designed to evaluate the quality of test cases. Additionally, the author introduced a quality attribute, Q testing, in this video. We will uh, see uh, later. So this ex experiment uh, have uh, has 14 participants. Uh, they are randomly grouped in two groups, the test first group and the control group. Each student needs to implement a test bowling game score uh, cal uh, calculation algorithm. So uh, at last we will have 14 code uh, and 14 test suites. And each test suite will need to test all 14 codes to get uh, some data for analysis. So let's start with question. Is there a significant difference between the quality of testing produced using a test first and test last approach? To answer this qu that question, we need to we need this attribute: the defects found in code, uh, the code quality. The code quality is equals to the uh, succeed uh, te test cases divided by the total number of test cases, and the code coverage mutation cover uh, score. You can see here and the de uh, de defects detecting ability, and uh, we will explain later. The test quality, you can see here uh, as a reference. So uh, for, uh, for the code, you can see uh, the, for the code uh, create, uh, produced by test first approach, we we find the 244 uh, defects uh, at last. And uh, uh, the, for the code uh, produced by test last uh, approach, we find uh, 330. Uh, similarly, uh, if, uh, for code uh, quality, uh, the, the, the score of test first approach is a little bit higher than the score of test last approach. So we can get the result. The usage of test drift development does improve the quality of resulting code. So, it, but uh, this uh, this uh, this result uh, derived from the the study of the code. But if we uh, study uh, if we study using the test cases, we uh, let sorry let uh, we can see for the code coverage, uh, the uh, the result are similar. Uh, for mutation score, they are also similar. For defects detecting ability, they are also similar. And uh, uh, testing quality, they are, uh, are nearly the same. So uh, we, you can see for test first uh, test cases, discovery total 284 defects, while test last test cases discovered 290. This means the experienced participants, regardless of the development approach used, had almost the same testing ability. And uh, on average, the overall quality of uh, test cases is nearly the same. This means the ability to write automated uh, test cases is of, uh, is of the same quality for developers using test TDD uh, or traditional uh, approach. So, so for the study, let's see impact of positive uh, test bias on test cases. If you divide all test cases into positive and negative, uh, you uh, you will get this table. The left is the uh, the distribution, and the right is the def defects uh, found by each uh, test cases. So you will find 146 positive test cases detect 226 errors, but only 71 negative test cases detect 348 errors. This means the negative test cases with the number detect more errors and contribute more to the uh, quality of test cases. So if you use the test, uh, the quality of testing, uh, that attribute to, uh, if you use that attribute, you will get this table and you will find the the higher, uh, the higher uh, the, the the more number. Uh, the, the number or the more 
positive uh, test cases uh, get uh, the num uh, get lower score, and the, the negative test cases get higher score. So this means that uh, negative test cases will contribute as much as 65% to the overall quality of testing score for the test first uh, developers. If you use uh, test Q testing to calculate the test last group, you will get the same answer. Is it validate? Uh, maybe. Uh, because the environment is performed on an academic setting, they will have the, the three limitations, and due to the low number of participants, uh, the only 14 participants, no statistically significant conclusion could be drawn. And this is the short conclusion. And this is the uh, what should be done next. You can post to you can post to see this section. Thank you.